Hello and welcome. This is Japan and we have a tier list today on Overwatch and we're going to rate the people on their ability to be criminals. Like some of these are legit criminals. Some of them are just kind of good guys. So we're going to rate them on what would basically be who is the worst criminal here to steal stuff. We're going to we're going to get rid of like murder and stuff cuz uh Ramatra and Doomfist might be a little bit higher up. But we'll go from there. So Anna, Anna seems like genuinely like a goody goody like she doesn't seem like she's done too bad i mean she is a vigilante so like she is doing some stuff illegal but i don't think it's too bad i think it's for the good reasons so i'll put her in c i don't think she should go back all the way down there uh ash i feel like is a full-blown criminal and will steal until the last uh last chance that she can uh then we got baptiste that i feel like has been a bad guy but has been trying to redeem himself so i'll put him in the middle of the road i feel like that's you know a solid spot like he's trying to get better bastion doesn't seem like he would steal anything he seems like he's a goody goody because he's you know trying to when he was a mindless killing robot he he probably killed a lot of people so he's trying to fix that uh brigitte i feel like has shoplifted at least like i feel like she's done at least a little bit because she just thought, you know, she's got to do something to be spicy. And then she immediately regretted it. It always has thought about it. And will never want to uh, to do it again. But has done it. Doomfist, full-on war criminal. Got to put him up at the top. Uh, Diva seems like the type that probably shoplifts on a, on a regular basis. I'm going to put her in the middle. Um, Echo seems like it wouldn't be in her programming to, to do anything. She'd have to be a goody-goody. She could probably do some of those, like you know, crimes that don't really hurt anybody if it was for the greater good, but I still think she would have a little bit of a, a trouble with it. Uh, Genji, I mean, he, like, he used to be in a part, I mean, I don't think he was in the part when the, his family was, like, a war criminal. I'll put him in C. I could see him doing some stuff, but I don't think he's really that bad. Hampton, Hampton still like, he, he would steal everything that's not bolted down, um, mainly just to, like, hide in this ball so i'll put him in a i don't know if he's quite up to the top but he, he steals probably a lot of stuff hanzo obviously is a criminal too so i'll put him in a um it's pretty solid i'm gonna try to keep these tier lists as solid as like having the same amount of people in each one but i don't want to uh you know i'll make it a little easier and harder alari kind of her backstory is killing all her people i mean she didn't do it purposely um, I feel like Alari would be probably a goody goody from that point on. I mean, she's got a lot of like redemption arc that she needs. Uh, Joker Queen is probably pretty high up there to steal whatever she needs to. She has a code to it though, so it's not as bad as some of the other people. Junkrat does have no code. He just wants to steal anything that is not his. Uh, Juno, because she's just like a little space child, I feel like she would be very sweet and very goody goody. Um, Kiriko would be another one that probably, like, shoplifts just a little bit, but feels really, really, really bad about it. Lightweaver, uh, shoplifts and feels nothing about it. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Lucio, he seems like the, pretty much the only thing he would probably have done is, like, pirated music. I'll put him in C. I don't feel like he, he would have done too much. Um, Volga, I think, is another one that just kind of indiscriminately steals stuff. Uh, Cassidy feels like he's like, I'm a good guy, so I kind of deserve a couple extra things. So, I'm gonna put him in the middle. I don't think he'd do anything too crazy, but, like, if he, if he saw something that somebody wasn't using, I don't think he would have a problem taking it. Plus, he used to be an outlaw, so he has a history of it. Next up is May. I think May's another one that's, like, a goody-goody, probably wouldn't steal anything. Uh, Mercy is the type that would seem like she wouldn't steal anything, but then she would, like, open up her closet and there'd be a bunch of clothes and stuff that she stole just because uh Mora would be the same way but had done it on purpose and maybe even uh stole stuff that is very illegal i don't know <laughs> Arissa seems also kind of like a goody goody she'd be the one that busts the rest of them and, and kind of like rats out the rest of them if they, if they if she saw them she would be like yeah they stole uh Farrah seems like a type that probably was a little bit of a troublemaker as a kid and would probably like Cassidy like you know if they're not using it I'll take it I'll, I'll I'll do this like I don't think they'd purposely go out and try to hurt anybody or you know stop anybody from like losing their own stuff but if it was like a big corporation and stuff I don't see that they wouldn't be too bad uh Ramatra is a war criminal again put him up towards the top 
Uh, Reaper is also a pretty, pretty big criminal. Uh, I'd probably put him up that he would steal stuff. He possibly could slide into A. Reinhardt seems as a kid probably was one of the just craziest kids that he would do anything, uh, steal anything and do all that. But now that he's gotten in his old age, he probably doesn't. I'll put him in the middle. I think he's, he's fine either way. Um, Roadhog definitely seems like he steals a lot, but it's like, I think he steals a lot because Junkrat wants more stuff. It doesn't really feel like Roadhog cares as much. Uh, Sigma is just kind of like confused. He could do literally anything because he just is not in the right mind. So I'll put him in the middle. He's that wild card. Uh, Soldier seems like she'd have a pretty strict code to not steal. I'd probably put her in C because she's like bends the rules a little bit. So, and, and probably would, um, you know, change her mind if it was something that was for the better, you know, for the betterment of other people and stuff like stealing food or whatever. But even, you know, it's not that too bad. Um, soldier would be very strict. I don't think we could see him do it. The worst crime he's done is vigilantism. And I know that's a crime, but most of these people have done that. So it's not that bad. Um, Sombra, uh, she would probably indiscriminately just steal a lot. I put her in S tier. I don't think there's anything that she wouldn't steal. Symmetra is kind of a weird one too because she grew up so like probably like like um sheltered and stuff that like if she went, did one thing like just stole like a fan of lipstick then she would probably just keep doing it. I'll put her in in C, but she could slide up. Uh Torb looks like he probably wouldn't because he's like you know, he's a parent and he doesn't he he doesn't feel like that's worth the risk. Um Tracer, interesting with Tracer. I feel like Tracer is the type to not really do anything. I'll put her in goody goody. Then we got Venture. I feel like Venture would not steal anything of value, but if it's rocks, they would have no problem. Just They would just do whatever they wanted. Widow over here. I don't feel like Widow steals as much unless it's her job to do it. She just literally will kill people. So I think that is also pretty bad as a bit of criminal. So I'll put her in A. Um, next up is Winton. Um... Hmm, I feel like Winton's towards the bottom. I don't feel like he would probably steal. I think he would only do it because he's probably never experienced it and just kind of wants to do it. Um, I'm going to slide Kiriko up a little bit because I feel like, you know, she probably could and would do it just for the hell of it, but not anymore. Uh, Zarya seems like she would have no problem committing crime. And then last but certainly not least, we have Zenyatta. I feel like just putting Zenyatta in S tier, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. So um, let's move Junker Queen up. I'd like to move, move Baptiste up a little bit. I feel like he wouldn't have as much of a problem with it. I still don't think Zenyatta is B, so I need to move one more person up. Maybe move... Ooh, this is kind of interesting. Uh, I guess, well, Lucio, I still don't think, I think he'd be kind of afraid to commit crime. Let me move Genji up, and then I'll move Torb up, and then I'll put Zenyatta at the bottom. I feel like Zenyatta would not steal because of just how he is in general and his whole demeanor and stuff. I think all of that would make him be like, I can't steal from other people. And... This has been a weird little tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I like doing some of these funkier ones. If you guys have any other weird topics to divide people into, uh, please tell me because it, it is fun to do. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye, guys.